Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HD Designed Crochet. I'm Heather and today I'm going to teach you how to make a granny square just like this one. Now anyone that's a regular viewer will know that I am the granny square queen. I'm mad for a granny square. So I wanted to show you how I make my granny squares um, as I'm getting ready to start releasing some of my granny square patterns. So, to make your own granny square like this one, you are going to need some yarn. I'm using this bright pink neon yarn by Stylecraft and it's in the colorway Fiesta. You can use whichever weight and whatever color you want. To go with this yarn, I'm using a 4.5 mil hook. Again, just use whatever hook corresponds with the yarn weight that you're using. Then you're gonna need some snips, some scissors to finish your granny square and also a darning needle. Okay, so when starting a granny square, we start in the center and we actually make a circle and then we change it into a square and then we go round in rounds. So to start your granny square, you need to make a slip knot with your yarn, like so. And put your hook in the loop and gently tighten. There's still a little gap. You don't need to make it too tight. And then to start, I chain three. You might want to chain five if you are a new crocheter, just to give you a bit more room to work with. Um, and then you can always tighten it up at the end by pulling this tail before you sew the ends in. So I'm going to chain three, chain five if you want a bigger center. And now I've chained three in this back loop here, which I've purposely left slightly larger. I'm going to put my hook in like so, and then I'm going to pull my yarn through them both. And then when I Put the tail out of the way I have a loop. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. The three chain counts as my first treble. If you are in the US I use UK terms when I do my granny squares and so you are making a double crochet. UK is and elsewhere it's a treble crochet. So you wrap yarn around your hook and you go into the center, pull the yarn through, and then yarn around your hook and through the first two loops, yarn around your hook and through the second two loops. So I'll do that slowly again, just to show you. To make the treble stitch, wrap your yarn around your hook, go through the center created by the little loop that we've made, wrap your yarn around your hook and bring it back through the center so that you have three loops, one, two, three, on your hook. Wrap your yarn around your hook and take it through the first two loops. Wrap your yarn around your hook again through the last two loops. And that's a treble stitch for UKers and all of those in the US. That's your double crochet. Now we have three now because your three chain counts as the first stitch. So there's one, two, three. We need 12 of those in total. So you just want to continue making your doubles or your treble crochets. You can pause this video at any time so as to catch up, though I am purposely not crocheting too fast. Don't feel any pressure, just pause and come back when you've got 12 trebles. That's 11 trebles or double crochets and your three chain to start. As I am working around, I am filling up this loop. And so I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And to give myself a bit more room, I'm just going to hold on here with this finger and my thumb, and I'm just gonna pull them around. So I need two more trebles. One, two, which gives me my 12 trebles, which is going to be the center of my granny square. And to close this round, in the back 
chain of the three chain that I made, I'm going to go in the top loop, which is at the back here. Let that focus. And just pull my yarn through to close. So now I have a circle made up of trebles. And so we're going to go on to the second round, which is this round in the peach square. Let me hold that up for you. So this is the round that we've just done and we're now going to go on and make it into a square. If you want to change colour so that your different your rounds are different colours, now's the time to do it. I'm going to continue with this colour because I have a project that I want this square for. So you're going to chain three to start your next round and then you're going to do two trebles into that same space. Now we're going to make the corner and to do that I simply chain two and then I do three treble back into the same space and this is to create my corner of my granny square. So now I have a centre and one corner. And so what I'm going to do next is I am going to count three trebles below so one, two, three, and I'm going to go into this gap here that I've just made with my finger and put three more trebles. One, two, oops, three. Then I chain two and then I do three more treble into the same space that I've just done my cluster of three trebles. And then when we look at it now, excuse me, when we look at it now, you can see that I've got my center and I have one corner here and one corner there. So to continue, I again count three trebles down here, one, two, three. And in this hole that I've just made with my finger, I'm going to do three trebles again. Then to turn the corner, chain two, and then three more trebles into the same gap where I've already just made three trebles. Now you have three corners. So to complete the corners, I'm going to count three treble again. One, two, three. And then do three treble into this gap I've just created. One, two, three. And then chain two and three more treble into the same space. And there you have the second round. To finish the second round, again, I'm going to slip stitch into the back loop of my third chain on the three chain I did to start the round. Now, if you take a look, you have your center and then your second round making the square, the granny square. So to continue, I'm going to do my third round again in the same colour. You can swap colour here if you want to. So to go on to the next round, round three, you want to chain three. One, two, 
two, three, and then do two treble into this space here. Now, as this round has grown, I don't want to do a corner here because I'm in the center of my square. I need to go into what was the corner below. So I go straight in with three treble. I don't do any chain spaces between my pillars, my cluster groups. So I'm doing three treble into my corner space from the round below. And now having done that, I can do my corner to go around the edge of the square. So I want to chain two and then do three treble into that same space. Which means I've now rounded the corner. My next space I'm gonna go into is here in between the two groups of clusters there, the two, in between the two treble clusters I've made you can see it very clearly. So I do three treble into this space. Which puts me back into the center of my square. And now I'm gonna go into the corner of the round below. And again, you can quite clearly see the holes through this yarn. So that big white space there is where I need to go. So I do three treble straight into the space. One, two, three. And then because I'm now in a corner space, I need to treble two to make my corner as I have here. So one, two, and three treble straight into that space. It's the same space, the corner space. When I look at my granny square, I've now done half of the side. So I'm going to go into this space now. So I do three treble directly in there, which puts me back into the center of my square, top center. And now I'm gonna go here, I can loop it where my little finger is, which is a corner space of my square. Hold it there, you can see. We're going into there. So that's three treble. One, two, three. And because it's a corner space, you chain two. One, two. And then three treble into the same corner space. Two. that's three. The next gap is this one here, which is the top center of my square, and I go straight in there with three trebles. One, two, three. And now I'm coming up to my last corner. So I go straight into there where my little finger is, with three trebles. One, two, three, chain two, then three treble into the same corner space. And then to finish the round, again, you go into the third chain of the three chain that started the round. Slip stitch. And then there you are, if I pull that out, you have created a three round granny square. To count your rounds really simply, I start in the center, one, two, three. And again, if I show you on the peach, start with the center and I count the treble group, so one, two, three, four. So that is a four round granny square. I find it easier to go diagonal from the center to the corner because if you try and go up, you might double count a row. Whereas if you're going diagonally, one, two, three, four, it's just a straight path. 
Now to continue this granny square, I would chain three and then put two trebles in there to make a group of three. Then here, I would put three trebles. Then the next space is a corner space, which is three trebles, two chain, three trebles. And then again, along the top, where it isn't a corner space, three trebles, three trebles, and in the corner, it's three trebles, two chain. And you continue until you get all the way back here and slip stitch into the third chain of your starting stitch. And you just continue your, your granny square by going around and around and around. Now, as it gets bigger, there will be more of these spaces. So on my next round, there will be three of these that I have to go in before I get to a corner. And on the round up from that, there will be four of these that I have to go in before I get to my corner. And so it would just keep on getting bigger. You can make your granny square as big as you like. I have seen people make granny squares the size of an entire blanket. And I've seen people make, such as myself, I've made a 16 round granny square for my granny square blanket which you can see in blanket stack my vlog and I've also made a series of two round granny squares um, which is just rows one and two I'll show you on this one one and two I've done the center in contrasting color and then I've joined them all with the same second round color you can see those in my curtain vlog and some of the samples that I've made and it's entirely up to you. You can also change colour every round or you can use a variegated a variegated yarn or you can just keep going in the same colour and just that means that there's less ends to sew in if you choose to do that. So thank you for watching Tribe. I hope you found my tutorial really really helpful. This is going to be part of a series so I'll also teach you how to do the join as you go method and also the continuous join as you go method. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope that you will make one of my granny square patterns and maybe join in with one of the granny square cows. Thank you so much for watching tribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.